and we're going to introduce some more tags. Um, and you know, just to recap, white space does not work when you're trying to position things to be viewed in the browser. But if you're trying to organize your code, uh, give yourself some space, things like that, feel free to, to do that to your heart's content. Uh, you'll see me do that a lot. I'll hit enter a lot or something to give myself some space. And I'll probably end up tidying it up later. So let's go ahead and look at basic tags. We've already looked at a couple basic tags. We've looked at the paragraph tag, a line break tag, and the commenting tag. Now I'm going to introduce the heading tags. And these come in six levels. And the tags are written like this, H1. Um, I'll note, again, in Dreamweaver I have settings to automatically close my tags. I don't, um, I don't type that fast. Uh, so that's why that's happening. So what a heading tag is, is basically a bold um, and sometimes large text that acts as a heading, or it could be the title of your page, uh, whatever, and they come in different levels. As you go up in numbers, the text gets smaller. And to write the other tags, you simply swap out the one for a two, three, four, five, six. And make sure you do that on both the opening and closing tag. So let's get started with these. So here's our heading, or maybe the title of our ridiculous story here. I'm going to go ahead and comment here really quick. So let's go ahead and save this and take a look in the browser. And depending on what browser you're using, since we haven't done anything with CSS or anything, we are going to rely on the defaults of the browser. So the text size could be a little different. The uh, font might be different if you're using a Mac or you're using Safari. They kind of have a different generic text than the Windows machine does. So let's go ahead and go to the browser here. And I'm just going to simply change the uh, file name here to example2. And there you go. There's our header. And you'll note, I believe this is Times New Roman, which is the uh, most basic font seen in Windows. That along with Arial. Okay, so let's move on. Um, you probably get the gist of how the headings work, but just in case, let's just go ahead and put some other ones in here. So I'm going to go ahead and make an H2 tag. And we'll go ahead and I'm just going to copy this comment, control and drag, space these things out a little bit. Uh, you'll note that again I, I format my code as I go this is this is going to become important as you start making pages I'll go ahead and change this to a 2 and we'll save it in this and we'll save it and we'll go take a look fresh F5 there you go so font size is a little bit smaller um, still bold and becomes kind of a subheading here so we'll call this our title of the story and this is the title of the first chapter which is one paragraph. And just to be thorough, let's put one more in here. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this whole thing here. Again, control, click and drag. Change this to a three. Just to a three. Change this to a three. And we'll change the text in here. So there is the end of our story. We'll save this and flip over to the browser refresh and there you go so as you can see it's just gonna get smaller and smaller as we go up in numbers a little backwards but that's how it works um, this is important to do um, a lot of times people will use the heading tags to to make headings but they'll they'll do it in a way where oh shoot well I want it to be a little bit smaller so I'm gonna make an h2 tag um, and I'm just gonna use h2 all over the place you can get away with that for the visual look but what a lot of people don't realize is that not everybody can see the website you have a lot of disabled people that use programs to kind of read through a website uh, and help them experience a website or a web page and one way they do that is they follow the tags so if they see a, a heading level one it's going to read that as kind of a title or, or you know the main heading then it's going to drop down to the level two uh, then read the content of the level two 
see the level three and it's just it's just a way to help the disabled you know navigate a page so keep that in mind um, again it's not necessary but it does make your pages accessible to um, you know more people now there's one more tag that uh, I don't really use a whole lot anymore um, and if you do use them you usually end up putting some formatting into them because sometimes they look pretty ugly uh, in their default state but uh, this is pretty much the last basic tag and that is the horizontal rule and this is another one of those cases where you don't have a opening and closing you just have a single tag and we're gonna go ahead and add these after the heading level 2 and the heading level 3 so it's just simply an HR and we'll go ahead and put one right here too and all this does is makes a horizontal line to kind of help separate what you're looking at. So we go ahead and save that, flip over to the browser, hit refresh, and there you go. You can see it's got this kind of beveled 1990s website look to it. Uh, if you look even closer, zooming in, you can see that bevel there, this, this 3D look if you don't know what bevel means. So usually we will reformat those or use other methods to accomplish a line like that. But one thing I want to look at here is you see the spacing that's going on here. Heading tags, just like paragraph tags, have this, this padding or buffer at the top and the bottom of each element. Um, and by element, I kind of mean, I mean what's in a tag. So the heading has this padding on the top and bottom and the paragraph has this padding on the top and bottom which is what which results in the separation between these here so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a little comment here and save this and then we'll do another save as because we're gonna keep using this document for a while here so save as and change this to example 3 and there you go